it is slow Saturday. Well, um, I'm actually shooting this video a day before the time because I am on my way to a game farm and we're going to spend the, the weekend in the African bush. So by the time you see this video, I will be sitting in the bush sipping a little bit of whiskey or something to warm me up because it's bitterly cold at the moment, especially in the bush. Okay, so what has happened? Well, the Little Miss Crossover cardigan is not yet done. I am crocheting on her um, in the evenings before the TV. And I will take her with to the bush this weekend and I will do my utmost to finish her sleeves. I'm still on the sleeves and then I still have the um, the button bands to do. So she's coming along nicely. I have to finish her either this weekend or next week because she is due for the photo shoot on the 18th of June. Oh, speaking about the photo shoot, I spoke to Daphne. Daphne is the lady who knitted that beautiful version of my Let's Play sweater. And um, either her or her daughter will model the sweater at the photo shoot on the 18th. So that pattern is due to be released on the 19th of June along with the Little Miss Crossover cardigan. So there's a crochet pattern for the 19th of June, the jacket, and there's a knitting pattern for the 19th of June, the Let's Play sweater. And then there's a little surprise pattern as well. You remember the hat trick? For those of you who haven't seen the hat trick, let me quickly show you what it looks like. If you give it a little bit of a shake like this, you've got a a nice beanie. <laughs> Mine has really been around the bend a little bit. Okay, so you've got a nice beanie. There you can see the crown. It's a it's a bit of a slouchy beanie. Okay. If you don't want to wear it like this, you can open the crown slightly and you can wear it as a ponytail beanie. Or you can pull it open completely and you have a cowl. Okay, so the hat trick has been on Ravelry for month, two months. When did I when did I knit it? I knitted it on the way down to Cape Town, I think. Oh, I can't remember. Um, I think it was in April that we published it. Might be in April or in May, I'm not sure. But it's been on Ravelry for a while, very popular the knitted version and then obviously the people started hassling me and said we want a crochet version. So <clears throat> the crochet version is being born. There we go. I had to fiddle around and frog a couple of times to find out um, <clears throat> what stitch would give me the same nearly the same give as the stocking stitch. I hope this is going to work. If it does, <coughs> I'm so sorry. If it works the way I think it would, then um, she will also be in the photo shoot on the 18th of June and she will be released on the 19th of June. So there's a little extra for the crocheters. Okay, then I'm also still working on the lock cabin patchwork, which is going to be a cowl. Oh, this thing is giving me grey hair. Man! What happens is, different stitch patterns behave differently. Doesn't matter whether you knit or crochet, the same principle applies. Different stitch patterns behave differently. And if you put them next to each other, one pushes out in the length and the other one pushes out in the width and it's a thing to keep it all straight. So that's the challenge that I have with this blanket but I am managing it. She's growing. She's um, about 80 by 80 at the moment and there's a quick sneak preview for you. The testers are all testing at the moment, oh, well, not all, I'm lying, one tester is testing, some of them are starting today, some are starting tomorrow and then some of them still need to get yarn sorted out, So, but the testing is going to commence in full force 
pretty soon and um, yeah this is gonna keep me busy for a while but uh, I th once I'm finished with the hat trick in crochet and the Little Miss crossover cardigan I'm finished with crochet for a while until I've got this blanket done because this blanket is going to keep me very very busy yes okay so I've only got a few sleeps left on Tuesday I will be receiving my lantern moon set I cannot tell you how excited I am to get knitting needles oh I cannot wait I cannot wait and what I've got waiting for my needles is fat yarn fat fat yarn fat <laughs> let me hold it like this See? okay there's four colors that I've got there this is a really really super chunky um, super wash merino yarn from color spun and if I say it's super chunky I mean it's super chunky on a hundred gram you've only got about 87 meters so it's really fat and what I'm gonna do with this I want to knit a hat a simple hat in stocking stitch but the reason I want to do it is more than one thing I want to do a proper tutorial on the crochet cast on um, those that use my knitting patterns would have noticed by now that I use the crochet cast on quite regularly I really really love it for more than one reason especially joining it to knit in the round it makes a perfect join and I want to do a proper tutorial for patreon for um, the uh, patrons on patreon in the living the slow life tier and I think there's still a few people left in the knitting tutorial tier that haven't moved over yet but I will publish it in both so um, okay it's the tutorial for the crochet cast on then I want to use the same project to do a proper tutorial for that spiral knitting that I've done a while ago when I made that cowl and I was alternating the two skeins of variegated yarns that looked so differently from each other but the end result was so damn cool so I want to do a proper tutorial for that but instead of alternating two I'm gonna alternate four yeah I'm gonna alternate four of them so I'm gonna make myself a nice fat thick stripy hat with this and I think I might have enough for a cowl, but I, I cannot estimate yarn usage like this. I haven't worked with this before, so it's a, I'll see what happens then. Once I've got the hat finished, I'll see how much I've got left. And then obviously the pattern for the hat, and if there is a cowl, <coughs> I will publish that on Ravelry as well. But this is knitting needles I'm waiting for my knitting needles I can't wait okay so there's a um, there's a Facebook group dedicated to knitting that I admin in on point knitting is the name of the group and um, the reason why we started the group it's me and two of my friends is we like to work with natural fiber we like to work with modern gadgets. Um, we no longer stuck in the old thing where we want to knit everything on straight needles and sew it up and we want to work only with acrylic yarn and oh, you know, yeah. It's for the modern day knitter, the knitter who appreciates um, natural fiber, the knitter who appreciates modern techniques, modern gadgets, modern tools and who actually uses modern day patterns because some of the knitters, uh, especially in South Africa, ugh, they stuck somewhere in the 50s or 60s I think. And what happened in the old knitting group that we have is, is if there is so many 
um, old fashioned knitters, if I can call it that, the, the knitters that are up to trend don't post and we don't see what they do and I want to see, I want to be exposed to new patterns, new techniques, new things that people share. So we started this group. So if you're a knitter, you're welcome to join there. Why did I mention the group now? <laughs> oh. I got a message this morning from somebody saying to me she made a hat trick but it was too wide so she had to make a ribbing on it and um, I said to her how did your gauge compare to mine I didn't test the gauge before I started I'm like oh okay so that led me to asking a question in on point knitting do you make a test swatch if not why not? Have you had bad experiences? And I was shocked to see that most of the people don't do a test swatch. It's funny. Okay, so here's my opinion on the matter. If I'm going to uh, knit or crochet, if I'm going to make a shawl or a blanket, I'm not going to hassle with a test swatch. I mean, if my shawl is three centimeters longer or bigger or shorter than the designer's shawl, it won't make a big difference. Blanket is the same. If I can see the blanket is big enough and I don't want to make it as big as the designer had it, then I will alter the pattern. I can do that. But as far as garments are concerned, different story. So, one of the reasons given was, I'm too lazy. And I'm thinking, that doesn't make sense. You're too lazy to, lit up, to knit up or crochet up a block this size to do a test swatch. So, you're going to finish the entire project and then you might not be able to wear it. So now you must frog it all on and redo it, or you must give this one away and redo it. That sounds like a hell of a lot more work than just knitting up a test swatch right in the beginning. Um, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand. I'm too lazy. Tioi. Um, the other one said, if it's a new yarn that I'm working with, Still the same thing applies, eh? If your tension is substantially different from mine and you use my pattern, the garment will not fit the way it is intended to fit. And then you can't blame the designer if you haven't made the test swatch. And that is what happens. Um, I've had it in the past where people would contact me very upset because the garment doesn't fit the way they think it should. And they haven't made the test swatch. This was not the first time. And that is part of the reason why I started to do measure and make patterns. Um, it is more risky. In one way. But it is more beneficial in another way. It's like <laughs> six of the one and half a dozen of the other. <clears throat> I prefer the measure and make pattern because you can then use whatever yarn you want to use without having to do a test swatch. You can even use yarn much thicker than I'm using or much thinner than I'm using and it will still work. The risk involved is that many people um, don't trust the pattern. If I say you must knit or crochet until you can just, only just, pinch it under your arm, I mean only just, then they will go and say, oh no, I think the arm hole should be bigger, and they add a couple of more rows, and then by the time the rest of the pattern has followed, the thing is too big. But that's a different story. I think, I think it comes with experience. If you've made one of my measure and make patterns, and you've completed the garment, you should be quite okay to do the next one as well. You will trust the pattern, you will trust the method, I think. Okay, so Little Miss Crossover Cardigan, she's going to be a measure and make pattern. 
but the let's play sweater is not I've actually it's and it's because it's so many different stitch patterns that fit next to each other that I wasn't able to um, say to you well knit as many cables as you want I mean that's not going to work this the stitch count is not going to work so for that style of jersey oops for that style of jersey I actually had to do a proper pattern and I don't like doing it I really don't like it um, one of the reasons is we are all built so differently you know um, if you take my hip measurement um, towards a medium but if you take my bust measurement it's a large because we are not all cast into a mold we we differ some of us have big boobs some of us have no boobs some of us have a bit of a tummy some of us have no tummy then you get the ones with the gorgeous hips and the nice full buttocks and then you get some that look like an ironing plank so I prefer measure and make because you can accommodate your body type with a small little bit of an adjustment and most of the people that do measure and make patterns are advanced crafters whether they knit or crochet doesn't matter they're advanced enough to make further ad, um, custom changes to the pattern to make it fit properly okay so what else do I have to tell you I think I've shown you everything oh by the way this is also um, it's the same yarn that I used for the knitted um, hat trick it's Naughty Habits, uh, it's her light fingering, there's 400 meters on a skein. Okay, oh that brings me to another thing about this test, test swatch thing related to it. I also had one lady that said to me that the hat trick is not long enough, she's adding more repeats. And when I asked her what the yarn was, um, the yarn was substantially different in, with, in, in weight. Um, another one also complained that she couldn't get it out with one hank. She had to use two and the reason was the same. The yarn was much heavier than what I used. It was a full fingering. It was about 325 meters instead of 400 meters. That's a substantial difference. 75 meters on, on 100 gram is a big difference. So, regardless of whose pattern you're using, whether you're using mine or another designer's, the easiest way to substitute yarn, and I know there's a whole website dedicated, yarnsub.com, I think, but the problem with yarnsub.com is it doesn't have all the yarns right across the world. So it's obviously more focused. I think it's an American website. Not sure. But the easiest way to substitute yarn. And here's a free tutorial for you. First of all, check the meters per 100 gram. And see how closely you can match that. And then the second thing is check the content of the yarn. If I am making something with this merino and you are going to get 100% cotton that has exactly the same meterage per 100 gram, chances are very good that you might not get the same end result. Why? Because the, the fiber content differs. Cotton is not elastic, it's got drape. Merino is elastic, it hasn't got drape. So the yarns will behave very differently when it's worked up. So that's the easiest way to substitute yarn. Check the meterage per 100 gram and get as close as possible as you can and check the fiber content. If it's merino, stick with merino or acrylic that's been made to imitate merino. It looks like wool. If it's cotton, you can use another plant fiber, cotton, um, bamboo is heavier, be careful with bamboo, but both cotton and bamboo and linen all gives beautiful drape. Be careful though with something like alpaca. 
alpaca is an animal fiber, it's a protein fiber. But you can't just switch alpaca for merino and expect to get the same result. Why? Because alpaca is not elastic and it's got drag. Merino is the opposite. Merino is elastic and it doesn't have drag. So, you want to swap your yarns out. Get as close as possible to the meterage, the same meterage that the pattern calls for. Um, get more or less the same fiber content and make a freaking test swatch it's not that hard work it's only that little bit come on you're gonna have so much more joy if you make a garment and it fits, fits if it fits the way it should fit it's not nice crocheting or knitting an entire garment and then when you put it on it doesn't look the same and something else that you have to pay careful attention to with the test swatch many times the designer will say to you wash and block your swatch before you measure the gauge it makes an enormous difference really it does especially if you knit when you knit stitches relax fiber relax it stops fighting the twist that you've put in when you've knitted or crocheted it up and it relaxes and the item is a bit bigger um, one of my dear friends made it, uh, what did she do? She made a uh, Missourina, I think was the pattern's name, Missourina. She didn't wash her swatch. She just measured and think, ah, oh, it's okay. And by the time she was finished, the Missourina was way too big. She frogged the entire garment. It's not worth it. All those hours, days, weeks of work has now gone down the drain. And you probably messed up the yarn as well. Where you should have just made a little swatch this big. Wash it. Dry it. Knit. Okay, that's all from me. I am now going to prepare for my weekend in the bush. And I will definitely send you some photos. When we have reception signal. Because in the bush there ain't much of that and I don't care so I will definitely take photos but they will trickle through as and when I have reception on the farm but that is it from me I can't wait for next Tuesday next Tuesday next Tuesday I'm getting my lantern moons and as soon as I get them I will cast on <laughs> definitely by the time I do the next close Saturday it's the Saturday of the photo shoot, so maybe, maybe, just maybe, I will share some photos with you as well. But by then, Lady Crossover Cardigan, Miss Crossover Cardigan, she must be finished. And the cowl, no, the hat trick, the hat trick must be finished. Yeah, I will see you again next week. I hope you have a good week.